All right, everybody, we are doing a Dr. Seuss book today. Always a really popular read anytime I do a Dr. Seuss book. Today's Dr. Seuss book is Dr. Seuss's ABCs. And if you're thinking, uh, Miss Andy, I already know my ABCs. Guess what? This is not just a boring ABC book. It's really fun. You're going to hear a lot of different words that are from each letter of the alphabet. We're going to have a really good time with it, okay? We're going to draw afterwards just like we always do, so be sure to have a crayon or a marker, pencil, piece of paper ready, and we will draw after we read, okay? Before we get reading, I want to say a special hello to some friends of mine, Derwin, Kira, and C. Ella in Leland, North Carolina. I hope you guys like this book, and I hope you have fun with your ABCs with it, okay? All right, you guys ready to get reading? Let's do it. Dr. Seuss's ABC. Big A, little A, what begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator, A, A, A. Big B, little B, what begins with B? Barber baby bubbles and a bumblebee. Big C, little C, what begins with C? Camel on the ceiling, C, C, C. Big D, little D, David Donald do. Dreamed a dozen donuts and a duck dog too. A, B, C, D, E, E, E. Ear egg elephant, E, E, E. Big F, little F, 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 F. Four fluffy feathers on a fiffer feffer feff. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Goat girl goo goo goggles, G, G, G. Big H, little H, hungry horse hay. Hen in a hat, hooray, hooray. Big I, little I, 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 I. Ichabod is itchy, so am I. Big J, little J, what begins with J? Jerry Jordan's jelly jar and jam begin that way. Big K, little K, kitten kangaroo. Kick a cattle kite and a king's kachoo. Big L, little L, little Lola Lop. Left leg, lazy lion licks a lollipop. Big M, little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight music in the moonlight, mighty nice. Big N, little N, what begins with those? Nine new neckties and a nightshirt and a nose. O is very useful, you can use it when you say. Oscar's only ostrich rolled an orange out today. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Painting pig pajamas, policeman in a pail, Peter Pepper's puppy and now Papa's in a pail. Big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? The quick queen of Quincy and her quacking quackaroo. Big R, little R, Rosie Robin Ross. Rosie's going riding on her red rhinoceros. Big S, little S, silly Sammy Slick. Sip six sodas and got sick, sick, sick. T, 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 what begins with T? Ten tired turtles on a tuttle, tuttle tree. Big U, little U, what begins with U? Uncle loves umbrella and his underwear too. Big V, little V, Vera Violet Vin is very, very, very awful on her violin. W, 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 Willie Waterloo, washes Warren Wiggins who is washing Waldo Wu. X is very useful if your name is Nixie Knox. It also comes in handy spelling axe and extra fox. Big Y, little Y, a yawning yellow yak. Young Yolanda Jorgensen is yelling on his back. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Big Z, little Z, what begins with Z? I do. I'm a zizzer zazzer zuz, and you can plainly see. The end. All right, doodle bugs, you guys ready to draw from our book? I kind of had to go through here and pick um, just one of Dr. Seuss's creatures to draw. There's so many different ones in here. But the one that I liked the most was the four fluffy feathers on a fiffer feffer feff. I had never seen this creature before, and so I thought this would be really fun to draw. So I want you to take a look at this because I'm going to point something out. There are no straight lines on this creature, right? It's all kind of like fluffy, poofy, feathery kind of things. So the reason I'm pointing that out is because when we draw him today, I don't want you to draw like this, like that. We're gonna draw instead kind of like that, like that. So you're just kind of always making like a little um, feathery marks with your pen, okay? So we're gonna try it out, see how it works for our um, fiffer, feffer, feff. Good grief. Tongue twister, all right. So here we go. We are going to start with this collar piece right here. You can kind of see it's like a big fluffy, um, I don't know, like a fluffy collar. So we're going to start in the middle of your page, okay? And like I said, these are all kind of crazy shapes, okay? So just kind of do something like that. And there's our collar piece. Now we're going to draw the head, okay? So you're gonna make a little bit of a neck, like I said, 
move your pen around a little bit when you do it, move your crayon around. And then he's got cheeks that kind of have these like long whiskers on them. So we're going to draw some long whiskers coming out of each side like that. And then keep your pen moving. We're gonna come up to the top of his head. All right, and it should just look kind of like crazy and fluffy like that, okay? Let's draw some eyebrows. And his eyes are like U's. And it has three eyelashes. One, two, three, okay? And then he's got a little tiny nose, little button nose like that. I keep saying he, I don't know if it's a, who knows what it is, just a creature, right? And then you're gonna make a smile. And he's got like a little wrinkle right there. Okay, there's our head. Let's come back down to his body, okay? You can see he's kind of just got like a really simple body. Um, so we're gonna, <laughs> again, keep your pen moving. So we're gonna come down like that. Come down like that. All right, now we're gonna draw arms. So the line that you just drew, come in and just make more squiggles like that, okay? All right, good job. We're gonna draw his wrist and then you can draw a thumb if you want. Those are his hands right there, okay? We're gonna come down at the tip of his fingers, keep your pen moving, make some little legs like that, okay? Now he's got these big fluffy feet, okay? So keep your pen moving, come out like that. Do the same on the other side. Keep it moving when you go like this. We're gonna draw another one up there. Looks like he's got like socks on or something. Draw a squiggly one like that. And then kind of keep that squiggle going right there. That shows where his legs come together. All right, we've got our kooky body on this guy. Now we need to draw these four fluffy feathers. So there is no wrong way to do this. Um, you can do four, you can do however many you want. I'm gonna do four. And so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start at the top of his head with one kind of like a long curvy line. Two, three, and four, okay? Just make them kind of like curvy. You can make them as big um, as your paper will allow. So now you've kind of got the general shape for your feathers and we're gonna come up and like draw these fluffy, you know, feather shapes. So like I said, our pen is just kind of like and not holding still for this one. We're just drawing lots of kind of scribbles and it'll end up looking like four fluffy feathers on a feffer, feffer, feff. All right. Just use those lines as your guide. Draw a bunch of zigzags on there. Sometimes I wish Dr. Seuss's creatures were really real, it'd be so fun. You know, if you're just standing there waiting for the bus at school and one of these guys comes up to you, that'd be a pretty fun friend to have, right? All right, there is our F, our four fluffy feathers on a fiffer, feffer, feff. Maybe we'll write big F, little F on here, right? So let's do a big F and a little F. And maybe over here we'll write the title of our book, Dr. Seuss's ABC, okay? So doctor, um, this is the abbreviation for it, D-R period, Seuss, S-E-U-S-S -S apostrophe S, Dr. Seuss's, and then we'll do big letter A, big letter B, big letter C, Dr. Seuss's A, B, C. All right, hope you guys have fun with that one. All right, so there's your Dr. Seuss ABCs. Hope you guys had fun with that. Um, it's a really fun way to listen to all of the ways that the letters of the alphabet can sound when we're speaking them out loud, okay? All right, I hope you had fun drawing. I'd love to see those pictures. So you can tell your mom or dad, put them on Facebook or Instagram, and that way I can see what a great artist you are, okay? All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in, and stay well and keep reading.